Let's march right along to proposition number three. What are we trying to do here? Given two unequal straight lines, to cut off from the greater a straight line equal to the less. Okay, let's write down our setup. So let AB and C be the two given unequal straight lines, and let AB be the greater of them. Okay, so we have two lines given to us. So we have the greater one, AB, and the lesser one, C. And what are we trying to do? Thus, it is required to cut off from A, so to cut off from the greater one, a straight line equal to C, which is the lesser. So what we're trying to do is take this line AB and remove from it a portion equal to C. And how are we going to do this? Let's go into the construction phase. At the point A, so at this point right here, let AD be placed equal to the straight line C. So why can we do that? Well, remember, through the previous proposition, we can construct upon any point a line equal to the given. So I'm just going to construct that. So we have A going over to D. So there we go. We're going to call that D. And what's next? With center A and distance AD, let the circle DEF be described. Okay, so we're going to construct a circle. The center is going to be at A, and the distance that we're going to use for the circle is going to be AD. So we'll take our compass and construct that circle. And for some notation, we're going to call this intersection point E. And just to designate the circle, we'll call this F over here. The circle DEF. And that completes the construction. And the claim is that this line AE is equal to C and is therefore removing from AB a line equal to C, cutting off from AB a line equal to C, which is what we're trying to do. And now we'll go through the actual proof. We'll prove that. Now, since the point A is the center of the circle DEF, AE is equal to AD. So this... AE is equal to AD. Why is that true? Well, the radii of the same circle, so they must be the same, but they must be equal. But C is also equal to AD. So C is also equal to AD. That follows from proposition 2 by that construction. And what's the inference? Therefore, since each of the straight lines AE and C are both equal to AD, AE is equal to C. So this must be equal to that. And therefore, given the two straight lines, AB and C, those were the two given straight lines, AB being the greater and then C is the less, AE, this amount, is being cut off from AB, which is equal to C, the less. And that's what we're trying to do. So as you can see, a pretty straightforward application of the previous proposition, but as I've been saying, make sure you understand all the steps, make sure you've grasped all the inferences, and commit this to memory.